For some, you know, the most difficult is talking to parents who lost someone. For some, it's it's sexual violence, you know, talking to rape survivors. For some, it's it's you know people who have suffered direct, you know, abuse and, and beatings. It's it's just difficult what sticks with you. Denis Jidic is editor in chief of the Balkan Investigative Reporting Network in Bosnia and Herzegovina, or Birn in B and H. The media NGO is the winner of the 2020 Special Award for their work on the Bosnian war. The most difficult interview I ever done was with uh, a man who was sexually abused and tortured while he was held in a camp. And we filled him for our documentary about wartime sexual violence. And you always spend the time to talk to them about why this is important and why we're doing this. And when I was explaining this to him, he really stopped me after a very short period of time. And he said, it's really fine. I can't think of anything better to do with journalism than to have like a specialized media outlet that only focuses on telling the truth about the war. The war in Bosnia ended in 1995, but it was only 10 years later that a special state court was created to prosecute war criminals. Jidic and his team have covered every single war crime case ever held there. We decided it, that it was vital to have like a specialized media outlet that was going to cover all of these trials and that was going to build an archive of everything found in front of these courts. Often their reporters are the only ones in the courtroom. They also work across the country. Our journalists were in every single town and village here in Bosnia and Herzegovina trying to find out what happened there. Jana Birkenic is deputy editor at Bir and BNH. She remembers one assignment in Prijedr, a town in Bosnia where many people were killed during the war. And I was uh, recorded a man who survived shooting three times as a minor. Um, he was at three detention camps and he agreed to speak with us. They were suddenly approached by an agitated group. The interviewee thought he recognized a man from his detention camp back in 1992. He was uh, scared. He tr- started to cry. I didn't know what to do. I just hold him hand, uh, hug him, give him some water, and then we go to, to his village. Two years later, they met again at the state court where the interviewee was a witness. But all the time during his testimony, he looked at me and speak to the judges even said to the judges, you can ask Jana, she weren't there, she saw that. People like like this man trust Birn, and this is why our uh, role is so important for the victims and for me. Semir Mojkic is the editor of Birn in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Sadly, it still is highly divided country through the ethnic lines and the ethnic groups. For a lot of these things, it's still a shame to talk about it. Even with all of these years that kids that are born out of rape, it's still, for them, it's really hard to speak publicly and to be accepted, for example. And we are talking about things that happened 25 or more years ago, but we're actually talking about how it affected the victims, their families, how it's actually affecting Bosnia and Herzegovina as a country and as a society today. It's been a quarter of a century since the end of the war. A lot of uh, victims have died, a lot of witnesses have died, a lot of perpetrators are dying. So uh, there is less and less uh, possibilities to prosecute and then obviously less and less appetite to do so, to keep dealing with these extremely difficult legacies of the past. However, I don't think we're anywhere close to uh, it ending and it's extremely important that we finish as many of these cases as uh, as is humanly possible because it's the only avenue uh, to get actually justice. Uh, undealt with uh, legacies of the war are the main issue that has not been tackled in the country and that is stopping the country moving forward.